Hello everyone, my name is Brendan Snyder. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to another episode of Five Favorite Box Sets, number 10, which means having shown five in each episode of this being the 10th, you will have now seen 50 box sets from my collection. And so, as I've mentioned, I've got over 200 box sets. Of course, that goes along with my 11,000 CD collection. So. I'm always, you know, usually showing you guys the individual albums, but for this, I'm gonna, you know, of course, diving into these box sets here and showing you some of my favorites. And for this particular episode, I figure we will focus on alternative rock, something a little different than I normally do. I've done heavy metal editions. I do a lot with the classic rock and 80s rock and things of that nature. But for this one, we're gonna do alternative rock. Before we dive into these five box sets though, if you're new to my channel and you haven't already hit the subscribe button, please click the button. Also leave a comment, hit like, all those things help support my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. And of course, as an added bonus by subscribing, you'll be able to stay up to date on all that's going on in the world of music, just like this with five favorite box sets, number 10 for alternative rock. All right, and so what makes a good box set? Of course, that's uh, subjective, right? Everybody has their own opinions on it. But for me, at least, it's a variety of material. It's things like having alternate takes, demos, B-sides, outtakes, live versions, stuff like that. Things that aren't on the regular albums that you can buy every day sort of a thing. And of course, having something new for the diehard fans. Uh, you know, I already own all the albums, so I want something a little bit more, hopefully some unreleased material. And certainly if it comes with a book and memorabilia and stuff like that, that's just uh, the cherry on top, right? So first one up that we are gonna talk about here Nirvana, never mind. Now, this one here is the 20th anniversary edition. They just got done releasing a 30th anniversary edition, which I chose not to pick up. And we're going to dive into this one here, and you're going to hear why I think the 20th anniversary edition is far superior to the 30th anniversary edition that they most recently put out. So the album itself originally released in 1991, and this came out in 2011 full 20 years on and this one here has 89 tracks in it 77 of which are rarities or unreleased and this one here spans the uh, album recording sessions things that came out around it plus live material and things that came out after it so disc one in here uh, of which uh, there's five discs total in here four cds one dvd but disc one which is a cd in here features 22 tracks. It's got the original album itself remastered, plus uh, studio and live B-sides. Disc two in here features 18 tracks from early recording sessions. You've got the smart studio sessions, and you've also got what's called the boom box rehearsals. And then there's also two BBC sessions included in that. Disc 3, which is also CD, features an alternative mix of the album, featuring all 11 of the tracks, and it is referred to as the Devonshire mixes. Disc 4 is a CD, and it is live at the Paramount, 19 tracks. And Disc 5 is the DVD version of the same thing, live at the Paramount, so also 19 tracks on it. But let's take a look at this. First off, it's pretty cool the way they've done this here. You can see this is a, a glossy uh, you know, cover here. But when we start to slide this out, the baby remains, and it's just the water that's here. So they're kind of cool the way they do that. This is the backside, actually, of a book, and there's the baby on the front cover of it. And then if we open it up here, there's a couple cool pieces of memorabilia right off the bat, which I will show you. But uh, first, I just wanted to flip through the book a little bit here and show you. It's kind of a big picture book, not so much covering the history of the band, but it shows you all kinds of things around the album itself. It's got uh, contract related things that are in here. Great shots of the guys. I mean, look how youthful they are within this. Of course, you know, it's 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 really, um, you know, uh, Dave Grohl, who we've seen grow up and be with the Foo Fighters and whatnot. Um, but lots and lots of cool stuff like that. In the back, we've got all the information on the tracks themselves. Um, First thing that's up here is the DVD. Why they put that up first, not really sure. And the four discs there are in the back of this thing. 
And so what I mentioned is there's a couple pieces of memorabilia and you saw that they actually showed this on a page, but it was a thing out of Melody Maker and it had uh, all this uh, great write-up and everything on the band. So it's been recreated here, which is fairly cool. And it's a two-sided, you know, little magazine like that. And then there's this poster version but it also has all kinds of little facts and things like that in it. And it opens up into that. And I'll just flip it over here to show you how it's uh, subdivided up to show you a bunch of cool uh, related things like that. So that's the Nirvana one. All right, moving on to another band that was probably equally as big uh, at that time, Pearl Jam in 10. So it came out this box set in 2009, but of course the original album itself came out in 1991. So not quite a 20th anniversary reissue of it, but what they were going for was leading up to the 20th uh, anniversary, re, um, anniversary in 2011, and this was kicking things off, so there was some other stuff coming out in the meantime. So Deluxe Edition, uh, this thing here features eight pieces or items of music. We've got two CDs, four LPs, one cassette, and one DVD in this thing, spanning from 1990 to 1992. So, you know, before and after the release of the album. 70 tracks total on this thing, 16 of which are rarities or unreleased. Disc one itself is the original album remastered. Disc two CD is called 10 Redo, and it's a new mix of the album, but it also features six B-sides. Then disc three DVD, it's MTV Unplugged, which has seven tracks, and recently they just reissued the CD version of that. I'm not sure why the CD was never included in here, but that is out and available if you want it. Then there is a two LPC set called Drop in the Park. It's got 10 uh, live tracks on it. LP, uh, one LP of the album 10 itself remastered, another one LP of 10 redo featuring that new mix. And then there is the one cassette called Mama Sun and it features three demos on it. So let's take a look at this. I uh, kind of already spun it around to show you, but this part of it pulls out and there's the vinyl that's in there. And this one's got a lot of cool memorabilia stuff. So we'll just pull that right out there, put that part of it down the vinyl and the box itself. And the box itself has this PJ on the front. So if I open this properly, there we go. Uh, you can see there's uh, this cool stuff here. So here was the uh, uh, hype sticker telling you everything that was in this thing. Uh, there was this version that was on the back side, which I always like to keep as well. I'll keep all of them if I can. Sometimes you have to cut them down to make them fit. Then you can see that we got this cool memorabilia thing that's here. And I'll open a little bit of it to show you what's there. This was the thing that I thought was really cool. This notebook, repl replica of a composition notebook in there. Then you can see that we've got that cassette called Mama Sun. Demo on that. And then just like the version you could buy in the store, there's a little mini box set, which is so cool that they replicate the big one, just a little mini version of it here, and it holds uh, the CDs on it. So you get the uh, redo of the album, you get uh, the original, and you get the MTV Unplugged DVD of that, as opposed to the actual CD. As I said, I still wish it would have been a CD. Composition notebook, which is really cool. You can see, and this I believe is Jeff Amet's um, thing, and it was something that he made you know, taking photos, you know, gluing things in, articles on the band, stuff like that. And so they reproduced it here with all that cool content inside that he had collected out on the tour and whatnot. That guy's always been really cool for having created or, or kept all of the archival stuff. And then this thing of memorabilia that's here, that's in this envelope, has all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, we get a bunch of different um, passes, uh, ticket stubs, as you can see, um, postcards that are included, um, some cool, uh, you know, shots of the band, um, you know, and then we've got some other uh, posters. Let's see if I can open this thing. I bet this thing's, yep, it is a monster, so it's going to be hard to fit it all in, but it is recreating the, uh, the album cover. 
So you get that. And this I always like, these uh, handwritten lyrics on th this one and some other, uh, you know, thing with uh, information. So all the stuff that you want to know about the album itself is written on these back sides of these cards. And I'll show you a couple of the front sides of these things too, because they're, they're two sided things, but they have all the information on the back side of it. So have done a full review of this uh, box set, like most of these here, which is why I don't go into these in, in any more detail. There just really wouldn't be enough time for them. So uh, if you are enjoying what you're seeing and you wanna see more of this, uh, that's where it is. But vinyl version, uh, just like those CD edition ones, and this one here being the different thing, drop in the park. So again, this was not available on CD. It was only available vinyl, a cool gatefold edition. And I'll open it up both uh, ways because that's kind of a cool shot. There you go. All right. So very cool thing there. More for them to release at some time. I'm, I'm assuming we'll probably get that drop in the park on CD and so forth. All right, next one up here, Smashing Pumpkins melancholy and the infinite sadness 2012 release for this thing and uh of course originally came out in 1995 so not a 20th anniversary but actually um just a deluxe edition reissue of this thing and it features six cds total of 107 tracks 79 of these are rarities or unreleased tracks featuring things like outtakes alternate versions, extended editions, uh, different mixes, demos, live, and so forth. Disc one and two here are the original album. It was a double album, so 28 tracks on that. Disc three CD is called Morning Tea, featuring 21 tracks. Disc four CD also, uh, High Tie, or High Tea, sorry, um, which features 20 tracks, Disc five, Special T, featuring 23 tracks, and disc six, which is a DVD in this, live at Brixton Academy, 1996, and it has 15 live tracks on it. So let's take a peek in this. First up, I wanna show you the cover of it, and it might be a little hard to see, but these are actually raised things on here, and I forget the name of it. They talk about it inside, and it is a type of craft where you cut pictures out and you lay them down, and then you put this uh, you know, glossy coating over this thing here. And that's what the album photograph or the cover of the album was, but they actually do a real version of it on here. Uh, and they give you some of it on the inside where you can make your own. And so this thing is magnetic and it actually just releases here and then it opens up like that. And I like when they do something on the inside like that, graphically, very cool. And then you get right on the top front here, this is uh, the CDs and it comes in its own thing. And I'll show you that in just a moment. Then there's a book inside here and it's got this little uh, strap to help pull these things out. Again, I'll thumb through that in a minute. And then you've got those, um, you've got all the music to it, which is here. But then this is what I was talking about. You've got some sheets of those uh, cutouts that you can do and make your own version if you want to. Kind of cool that they did that. Of course, I'm not gonna do it because I don't want to um, lose any of the stuff that I have there. But um, all the lyrics done in a book like this, which is kind of cool, it's a little bigger maybe than I would need, you know, to read something, I'm used to CDs. But it's nicely done, very artistic, like a poetry type book. And so it goes through and you've got all of that inside there. Here's the book of the album itself. And this thing here has, you know, whole history and an explanation about what was going on with the band. And of course, just really great uh, live photos. It is a soft back book. You can see I'm having a little trouble turning the pages on it because it's not a hardcover book. But a lot of great uh, sketches, drawings, shots, information, things of that nature within this. And of course, all the, the information on those crazy amount of tracks that are in here. And then um, get uh, this is the CDs. And what's cool is the inside of this is felt. So it's very nicely done. All six discs, five CDs, one DVD there for you guys. All right. So next one up to do is REM's Monster. 
So this thing here, Deluxe Edition, 25th anniversary, originally came out in 1994 and features six discs in it. It has five CDs, one Blu-ray. It's got a total of 92 tracks on this thing, 52 of which are rare or unreleased. So disc one in here is the original album remastered. Disc two is 15 tracks worth of demos. Disc three is the album itself monster, but remixed in 2019 by original producer Scott Litt, who wanted to take another stab at it. And it's a very different mix too. Uh, it removes a lot of that stuff that gave it the uniqueness that it had in 1994, except some feel that that's now a dated sound. So uh, check it out, it's very interesting. Discs four and five um, are CDs, and it's live in Chicago, 1995, a complete 25 track live show. And then disc six, which is a Blu-ray, has five music videos on it, but what I really liked is they included Road Movie, which was a concert film featuring 19 songs performed live. There's also the album itself and 5.1 surround sound and high res audio. All right, and so um, this is just a, a book style. You can see on the back, it's got the track listing of the album itself, and when we open it, I kept in here, again, hype sticker, and then also the information that was on the back side, which shows you all six of the discs and everything. But the upfront part of this is just a book. Uh, it's got all the stuff in here and it's got information about the recording of this album. I'll try and hold it a little closer since we got a bit smaller one. Lots of great photos in this thing. And then in the back of this thing, we've got the discs and they're each in very nice cardboard hard sleeve uh, things they pull out of the tops here um, but there you go that's how this one is done so it's a very compact style box set no special memorabilia or anything but very well done and for holding six discs I do like the quality of how it's done and the compactness that this thing in and of itself is all right bringing us down to the last one for this episode we have U2's Octoon Baby from 2011. Here's the uh, spine of this. You can see it pulls out. It's got this little extra bit. The back side, which actually tells you the 10 discs that are inside it. So that's kind of cool. Not all these box sets do that, giving you that information. So the album itself originally released in 1991. This being a deluxe edition celebrating its 20th anniversary in 2011. As I mentioned, 10 discs, so it's got six CDs and four DVDs in here, 112 total tracks on this, 68 of which are rare and unreleased. Disc one is the Octune Baby album itself remastered, featuring the original 12 tracks. Disc two CD, Zuropa remastered, uh, featuring the original 10 tracks. And I understand why it was included in here, but I kind of wish there was a separate box set for Zuropa from Octune Baby, but Octune Baby being the bigger album and Zuropa having been recorded on the tour at different stops along the way, understandable that it's really part of the same time frame and everything. So disc three CD is called Uber Remixes. There's 11 of them. Disc four Unter Remixes, 11 more tracks. Disc five CD, B-sides and bonus tracks. There's 16 of those. And disc six, which is a CD called Kindergarten. And it's the Octune Baby album, but in demo format featuring all 12 tracks. Disc seven, which is a DVD is called From the Sky Down, which is a documentary. And it's a very good one at that. Disc eight, another DVD. 18 different music videos. So they didn't obviously release 18 songs as videos, but there's different versions of those music videos on there, which is cool. You know, one or the song one had three videos made for it. It was so popular. And disc nine, another DVD, simply called bonus material. But what's on here is a Zoo TV special documentary. There's also what they call shorts on here, things like MTV Most Wanted and the MTV Rockumentary, which was a full hour in length. So I don't know why they're calling it a short, but uh, they do have that included on here. 
and then Disc 10 DVD. Zoo TV live from Sydney, 22 tracks uh, that had been previously released, but nice that it was grouped in here, kind of bringing everything full circle between Octoon Baby and Zoo TV. So let's take a look at this thing, this monster box set. Very cool just to have it in the scale that you can actually see all these, because the little CD edition was always, uh, had those very small. And of course, I know the vinyl edition was always this way. So as I mentioned, this thing is a slip case and it just slides off like that and you've got the two things. We're gonna pull this part of it out and I'll show it to you in a moment. And then when we pull this out, it is just a, a big book uh, edition of this thing. And when we open up the cover here, we immediately get all of the CDs up front. Uh, the DVDs themselves are in the back of this thing. And so um, it's got a lot of great photos. I would call this more like a coffee table style book because it focuses more on the shots and things of Anton Corbin, who's a longtime photographer for them. But it does have some uh, write up and recollections from the people who were involved in this, Brian Eno, um, of course, Anton Corbin, and other people giving their comments and thoughts and stuff like that. And so it does tell the history and the time period and that sort, but it's done in a little different way, which I think is very cool. And so just lots of great shots in this, and then those four DVDs in the back side of it. And so this thing here, this cardboard thing, if you can see it, it is embossed, raised with those images uh, that made it onto Zuropa. Then inside here, it is a whole slew of those shots that are like on the cover itself. So just big versions. Now, I was working in a record store at the time when this album came out. And so they gave you these and you could make displays out of them in whatever way you want. So I actually have original versions of these things that I kept and hung onto from back in the day, but it's cool that they gave some out to everybody. All right, and there you go. That is five favorite box sets, alternative rock edition. Uh, do check the description for links to related videos. As I mentioned, I have done a full review and unboxing for Pearl Jams 10, as well as U2's Octoon Baby, the one we just saw there. So if you want to see those in much more detail with time spent on it, recollections and that sort, check out those links. And certainly, if you will, consider sharing this video out on social media. Help spread the word. I would greatly appreciate it. All right, everyone, take care. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you all real soon. Bye-bye.